Hey, my name is Mika Heiskanen, and this is my hockey story. When I was around five years old, my mom signed me up for some skating lessons, and at the same time, I was gaining an interest in ice hockey. Over the next few years, I was really struggling to find which position I liked more, if I wanted to be a player or a goalie. Um, sometimes I hated being a goalie, sometimes I loved being a player, and vice versa. I eventually stuck with being a goalie as I liked it more in the end. When I was 13, my interest in hockey slowly started to diminish. I wanted to take a break from it because um, my life from before then was just hockey, hockey, hockey all the time. Um, but my parents were persistent that I stay in it. So, yeah, I, I continued on. I started taking hockey more seriously the next year. And at the end of the year, I was awarded player of the year for the Minor Hockey Association. The next year, I moved further east and joined another hockey association. At the same time at school, I was in a hockey academy and that got me in really good shape. But on the ice, I was just inconsistent. Regardless, I was still so dedicated on improving myself and my skills and getting to a higher level of hockey. But over the past five years, my love of hockey started to diminish. I was taking it so seriously that I think I just took all the fun out of hockey. I started to hate it and I wanted to quit. Eventually in 2019, I finally convinced my parents that I wanted to quit hockey. On top of that, I was maturing and looking back, the hockey culture is so toxic. Although I no longer play hockey, the skills that I learned from playing hockey has made me become a better person and a better filmmaker. And as a filmmaker, I can change this hockey culture for the better. I can bring awareness to the abuse that goes on in hockey that many people don't talk about. But once you put yourself aside from that culture, then you can finally understand like, this is wrong. This needs to change.